Mayors Shane Paul. Our next guest speaker is our first small woman mayor and our first mayor from a major city, the Honorable City of Oakland, Mayor Shane Tao. Mary Olson, Jay 
Shung Tong, J. Sing Tong, and Linda Tong. And Chua Chua Hoa Young, your brothers and your sisters. Una, I can see the thing that the Hoa Young Song Ye, that she would give up a lot. They gave up a lot so that they can provide us as kids, as their children, a better life. And they did that, just like we're going to do for our future generations as well. I also want to thank the Hmong Cultural New Year Celebration Committee, specifically Atam Mitch, her, and his board members and committee members. Can you all please stand? Mitch, her, your committee members and board members, please stand. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you all so much for working diligently and carefully to put this whole new year together. I know it is not easy. I know it's very hard and there's a lot of arguments and a lot of laughter. But thank you. Because we need this. We need this for our young people to understand why. It's not only a celebration. It's a coming together of all the Hmong people across the whole nation. A coming together to say we see each other. We love each other. And we love where we come from. I also want to thank you to Matang Ambassador Paul Yap. Thank you, Paul Yap, for inviting the citizen advisors from DC. It is so incredibly important that you all are here from DC to really celebrate and see the Hmong people for who we are and enjoy not just the festivities and the food and the culture, but understand our plight. And I want to give a shout out to um, Lar. Lar and David have put together the Vinai. Uh, a showcase, which we do need funding to create a stable museum for the Hmong people. If Mitch Lung will call Vinai Walkthrough Museum, please go and visit. It's in the other building. Please see where we come from. That's how you know where you come from, and that's important to understand. And so today, I join all of you as the nation's first. Hmong American mayor to represent a large metropolitan city, Oakland, California. And as mayor of Oakland, California, I represent close to half a million people. And Oakland is the eighth largest city in California. And on behalf of Oakland, California, we stand here so proud to be with you all today here in Fresno to share in the festivities. And so thank you for inviting me to be here and to speak to every single one of you. Not only am I the first in the nation, but I am a woman. And I'm deaf. <laughs> I am a millennial. I am the youngest mayor in the city of Oakland in the last 75 years. I, am, I, see, I see you in the back going like this. Yes, that's okay. Let's do it. I am a millennial and I am a proud, fierce, and strong, 100% Hmong woman. And so I want to give a round of applause to all the little girls and all the Hmong women out there.
that down. It's a legacy. Let's not lose it. You know, the work with this art takes a long time. It's a cross stitch, one thread over another thread, and then together, whether it forms a number two like mine does, or, um, or whether it mirrors a flower or an elephant's foot or a snail or any other design, at the end of the day, the stitches, all of these stitches come together to form something beautiful. And that is how we, the Hmong people, how we are. We are resilient. We work together. We ensure that we, as one people, support each other to grow and establish our stories. Our stories, the good, the bad, the not so beautiful things, but in the beautiful. Everyone has a story to share. Every group of people does. And we need to share ours. It is, it also shows our place of belonging. That we are Hmong Americans and we are proud of it. And not just that, but that we are part of this United States of America. That we are part of the conversations. That we should never be left behind or, for, or forgotten about ever again. And in part, we are part of the decision making at the decision making tables. And we make those decisions with other Americans. And that is why we have fought so hard with yourself, Brother Bong, and myself as mayor of Oakland to ensure that we as Hmong people are one and that our voices are heard. So my Hmong brothers and sisters, it's been 47 years since we, our parents, our grandparents, first lost their home to war and we were resettled here in the United States. They didn't know what the new world would be like nervous and afraid, but today we stand stronger. We stand not unafraid. We have amongst us all great long talents from doctors to nurses, to officers to firefighters, to engineers and scientists, musicians and artists. And of course, like Council Member Monito has stated, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the respected elders and the Bucktowns in our, in our communities. So I want to say thank you all so much. The little kids that are growing up and taking part of all of the Hmong traditions. You all have made our success a reality. And that's why we love you all so much. That's why I
and 100% American. And that is very, very difficult to do. And that is why this celebration is so important, not only to the Hmong people, but all of us. It's important to us, too, as Americans. We must preserve the Hmong culture. We must preserve the Hmong history. We must preserve Hmong tradition. And I am committed as America City of finding ways to be able to preserve that tradition, that history. And working with Dr. Solomon with the Minnesota Center in making sure that we have a building that will be adequate, that will be convenient, that will be attractive to be able to host the artifacts that we have here today. I've had the, uh, the absolute pleasure over the years of spending a lot of time with the late General Bank Powell, somebody that I consider to be a friend, somebody that I uh, had a deep respect for. You see, I spent many times with General Bank Powell at lunches and dinners and other events and shared the stage with him for many, many years uh, at the Mon Year celebration. He was a bold leader. He was a courageous leader. He was a one-of-a-kind leader. And he will always be missed by me and have a place in my heart for him. General Bain Powell always stressed the Hmong community the importance of education, the importance of hard work, and the importance of respecting your elders. General Bain Powell also stressed the importance of unity among the Hmong people, especially during a time when, unfortunately, there were three Hmong New Year celebrations here in the city of Preston. I had a lot of conversation with General Bank Powell, and I can tell you he was heartbroken over that. And he would be so proud today, Mitch, to see that there's only one Hmong New Year celebration in the city of Preston. It is so important that the Hmong people stay united. And that's why some 25 years ago, I made sure that I could do everything that I could to be able to unite the Hmong people into one celebration. You see, there is power in unity. And there is peace in unity. And together, your voice is very, very loud. And don't ever underestimate the loud voice of the Hmong community. That is the very purpose of what we have in Fresno, called the One Fresno theme. That theme is about unity and strength as a community. Regardless of the color of your skin, the neighborhood in which you live in, or your political affiliation, for those of you who live in our city, we are One Fresno. And it is for that reason that the City Council and I created the Office of community affairs to serve as liaisons to our diverse community. And one of the members of that Office of Community Affairs is Sandra Lee, who serves the Hmong community. We want to honor the Hmong people by ensuring that all of you have a voice in your government, whether it's local, state, or national. In Fresno, we want to be a government that listens, keeps its promises, and is owned by the people that we serve, and that includes the Hmong community. I will always have a fondness in my heart for the Hmong people. You have treated me like family, and I mean that. And I say that from the depths of my heart. You supported me when I competed to be the police chief in the city of Fresno back in 2001. All of you supported me when I ran for mayor for the city of Fresno, and you support me today. And for that, I will always be grateful to Mitch and all of those that serve as elders in our community and leaders. Thank you for your support and thank you for your friendship. I love you very much, and I want you to know that I will always, and I mean always, be there for you. We must never lose the Hmong New Year celebration in Fresno. It is a part of our identity. And in order to keep that identity alive, I'm proud that the city of Fresno once again was a major sponsor 
for this long New Year celebration. And it is my hope that the contribution that we made will ease some of the financial hardships experienced by the committee, especially during the last few years dealing with the pandemic. I also want to say thank you to the Center for New Americans under the incredible leadership of Pal Yang, for his leadership at the Center and for all that you do for the community, not just the one here, but our entire Fresno community. And lastly, and most importantly, I want to say thank you on behalf of America to the SGU and all of our American veterans, Hmong veterans, for serving our country and protecting our American soldiers. We, as Americans, must be forever grateful, and I know that I am, because it is because of those Hmong soldiers that we have freedom today in America. So God bless you. Happy New Year. Sponsor for the first of all years. The Pangya Panza, Tsaiwa Beibong, Fresno Lupan Chapitio. Pangya Tsa, the Beibong Chapitio, Lupan to Bay to Bong Chapitio, or Toko. I would like to take this moment to recognize and acknowledge some of our major proud sponsors for the for this year, first of all, year celebration. Basically it says, whereas the Hmong New Year is one of those beautiful traditions that was shared with the United States of America, Fresno, a place of 30,000 Hmong call home, is the host of, of the largest New Year celebration in the country. The Hmong have been celebrating the New Year in Fresno County for more than 40 years, and we thank you for that. And now therefore be it resolved that I have Sal Cotero, who hereby proclaim December 28th to January 1st, 2023, five days to be one of the celebration days in the county of Fresno, and it is official. Congratulations. ปานนี้เนี่ยสุดไกลแล้วกูเนี่ยมันจะเชื่อกูจอกกันเนี่ยจะปอกกูจึงมันจะใช้เจ็บเจ็บจนน้ำเต้าจอดเลยใช่ไ